Hello and welcome back to the Virtual World Championship 2020. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and today we have the quarterfinal match against uh, Matitude, uh, who is actually from Belgium, so that's a fun fact. John Higgins uh, is his uh, player. Um, I'm very nervous for this quarterfinal match. Obviously, we made it through uh, round one. Just steadying ourselves here, uh, ready for the first frame the first break always a, a big shot in these matches and that's an absolutely terrible uh, start and and we've done uh, what so many players have done in this tournament and actually missed it on the way down uh, oh, nice. which Don't yeah has happened a lot to me today in my practice actually so it's uh, quite quite telling uh, that that's happening and he's just playing on here so no uh, Messing about from John Higgins, but uh, yeah, we made it through the first round, which you know probably was quite a surprise to most people. Uh, it was certainly a surprise to me, and uh, we you know we played okay. I think we we can play a lot better, and hopefully we will play a lot better in this match. Certainly better than that first shot, but uh, good safety from uh, John Higgins, Wizard of Wishaw, of course. Uh, he's just about not left that on so uh, good for him um, yeah, just got to be slightly careful we don't hit the uh, the jaw but that's a, a poor safety shot we've missed the power bar again so not a good start for us in this not played that well. match shot, and uh, Maddie has a an opening red we've hit that too thick so yeah, uh, but thank you for all the support, the incredible support, uh, you know that you've given me. Um, I really do appreciate it. And, at the right pace. You know, people seem to, on the whole, be enjoying this tournament. Obviously, the first time this thing has ever run, so uh, you know, of course, there'll be One. some teeth and problems. But um, yeah, looking forward to today's match and uh, hopefully settling down a bit because those two safety shots were absolutely atrocious um, Maddie's played not into the, split. the Reds he's not got a great split though Eight. Uh, unless he fancies the Red into the right middle he's uh, on nothing so a bit unlucky there but opening them Reds up early on it's been a bit of a trend of this tournament I'll try and get the Reds Open nice and early. Obviously, I've commentated on one of Maddie's matches so far, so uh, you know, I know what a top player he is, and he's taking this on. And that's a great shot to the middle pocket. He's a bit what unlucky a that he's not on Could anything easier uh, yeah, from this position. So, nine. Hold on to your hats here. This is a, a tricky shot coming up. It's a real He's tricky shot. To sink this into the left corner pocket. Oh, but what a fabulous pot from from Maddie That's there. And uh, yeah, good now start here. Yeah. He's looking, looking good touch. I can certainly be happy with the start. Cracking red to the right middle. He's knocked in a lovely black there as well. Uh, so. 17. A decent opportunity to win this first frame. Best of three once again, uh, these matches. So, you know, um, short match. So, I'll try and make every shot count. Is the, is the thing that, that certainly I'm looking to do. But, amazingly enough, I think he might have not got on anything here as he's on that bottom red to the left corner it's uh, very unlucky there he thought for all money that he'd be on something he might well be on that red to the left corner but I'm not sure Well, he's taking it on to yeah, the left he is corner. On it. Oh, but he's missed it. Too thin. I 
did think it was a bit tight where they could Johnny pop that, so uh, Maddie opens up with a, a break of 24. I'm just a little bit relieved to get back to the table here. Now then. That split is not bad at all. Great opportunity. What can we One. do from here? Let's take our time a little bit. Make sure that we are aware of all the possible options. So, we play this with a little bit of top and left hand side and actually try and cannon some reds here. You know, that'll do. Happy with that. Just try and pot a few balls here, settle down a bit because uh, very cagey at the moment. You can probably hear my voice, how nervous I am. So, just try and settle down. Nine. So, uh, probably just bring this straight back. hit that a bit I don't know where the pink's gonna spot on the blue spot but yeah just didn't get into that under hit that massively disappointed so it's this red to the right corner it's uh, really not an easy pot this not a nice shot to have to play it Play it as an element of safety just with an element of safety. The left corner pocket. Just got to be slightly careful. Not the quality oh, we'd expect well. from a player of his skills. Hasn't so gone in now. Where's that red going to finish? Oh, it's just Park about potable, I think. Yeah. So, not the best from us. Just overcut that red. Unfortunately, hit the other red on the way back. I was hoping to get that cue ball back to the bulk for safety. But, uh, these aren't easy, these reds into the middle, but I'd probably expect him to get it, if I'm honest. So, definitely a nervous start. Uh, for me, especially. I don't, I don't know about Matty, don't know how he's feeling. I imagine... He's feeling the same right now. Um, but those reds are quite awkward on the left hand side. Um, it's taking quite a bit of time to think about this. I mean, he is just playing safe, so yeah, maybe he's feeling the nerves as well. And I certainly probably wouldn't have played that shot. Because there's a red to the left middle. There's actually a couple of reds to the left middle. I actually. For this one, I think. To that one. Just triple check this. Passes. It's very, very tight. So, just gonna drop this one in. It's not easy, this. Well, pretty much guaranteed to be on blue or green if we knock it in. Chance here. It's there. Good shot. What a shot that is! Now, I think actually play the the green here. You know, sometimes I would be tempted by the blue, but uh, I think the green. He's playing the right corner here. Decent position on the next red. Well, you wouldn't know it by that oh. shot. It's really been a an edgy start uh, from us here. Yeah. I think maybe just the safety potentially, but I don't know. This is tough. It's a big shot to take on this this early stage mm. 
No, not quite. Where's the cue ball going? Enough. Well, Foul. I'm not actually Foul. 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 too bothered Foul. by Foul. that. He's playing on from this position. Yeah, he is playing on, so he's going to have a go at this red into the middle, I think. It's not an easy one, but I'd, I'd expect him to probably knock it in. As long as he plays it absolutely dead weight, uh, the ball in hand helps because he can put that white anywhere in the D that he fancies. Just not drop this in, one, you, but you're guaranteed chance. to be on. I'll call that. Oh, it's just no, missed, though. not this time. Close, but a miss, nonetheless. But certainly I don't fancy playing that down the cushion. Is the, the issue. I could try and cut this in, I suppose. It's a very thin one. Very, very thin cut. Actually, the pace that you have to play it is it even worth it? So maybe take this red. Certainly a, a tense start here. He's taking the red on. Nope. He's missed it! So I left him a much easier pot than what we had. And uh, it's not going well so far. It really isn't. But we're still in this first frame. Uh, just about. But it's been nervy. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Um, Nicely done. Quality queuing there, really good. One. So, I expect he'd be on that red. Um, Four. Yeah. After, after this, it's it's not so straightforward to get onto the other reds. The the reds are pretty well available. Certainly the four in the middle of the table, but getting on them is it's not easy. So you know, just hoping for one more mistake from from Maddie here. Um, Five. You know, we sort of made it back from these sort of positions in uh, our first match against uh, Nevitz. So I'd be trying to come up the left-hand side of the table here. Lots of top spin on this yellow. Played the green and well, that's an unforced error. Just yeah, I felt like that was a little bit more tricky. He's, Eight. Well, he's not in a good position here, so he'll be resting up to those reds, I would imagine, unless he fancies the thin one back to bulk. He's he's not got much danger, but only twenty one points in this frame, and it's it's been a, a tight, nervy affair so far. He's just playing the thin one back to the bulk. A little flick on the Browns helped him out. John Higgins, eight. So we'll have a, a little gander. Yeah. And a little look at what we what we could potentially leave. I think just leaving the cue ball in these jaws might be. Our best option here. Just double check none of these reds go to the right middle. I mean, potentially that middle red does, but 
certainly wouldn't fancy it so yeah that middle red potentially goes into the middle pocket but you know the way I'm sort of queuing this I expect the, the other red to maybe cover it but gotta hit this right Okay. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't fancy that red into the right middle. Um he may well take it and if he if he pots it, fair play to him, but if he hits even one of the other reds it's uh it's gonna open things up. No he didn't fancy it, so Yeah, this time play the an even better safety. But might just be a, a similar shot for us here to what we played last time. Just sort of hoping that he'll make a mistake at some point. See, this time we've left it a bit straighter, but I just don't think he'll fancy it. It, it is very, very tight. We might take it on. Just need to hit those with a bit more pace next time. If we do get another shot at that, I think I need to play it a little bit harder. Looks like we are going to get the the chance to play it again but he's well maybe not actually because he's played a really good safety this time that's possibly cut off that shot that we were playing yeah, we just can't get to enough of that bottom red so we're in a bit of trouble here certainly in a bit of trouble thinking maybe deep screw back to the ball candy and home for the best he's looking for the safety again who will make the first mistake yeah that's gone a little wrong I'm left in much though I'll settle for that I was aiming for much um, much more screw back. I don't really know why it didn't happen, but yeah, I was just trying to screw that back to the bulk. I'm actually quite happy it didn't go back to the bulk at the moment, um, <laughs> with where that red would have ended up. Now, I'm interested in whether that red to the bottom of the three on the left goes to the left corner here. Don't think so. I think he's in a pr pretty similar position to what we were. Yeah, he's just playing safe. Don't blame him. Um, but we got away with that massively. The ball looks pretty safe here. He's just playing granite safety shots here. This is uh, really, really top draw stuff from him. Yeah, we're just kind of. Do the same as what we have been doing. Yeah. Such a tough shot this. Oh come on. Well oh, it hasn't made it. Him. I can't believe that. John Higgins. Well, that's the end of this frame. I'm He's afraid. elected to play on here. Unless he makes a big mistake. That's the end of this frame. 
we've always been on the back foot in it. So. The split looks good to me. And played the cannon. One. Yeah. Nice shot. Five, six reds left. So 75 on the table, but he is 26 points in front. So, you know, three reds, three colours puts him very, very close to the winning line. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Played the blue. That's right out of the top draw. Not Just sure why he didn't fancy the black. Shot. Superb. Six. Good shot. Played the best shot there. I don't know if he'll fancy the pink into the middle or the blue, maybe, possibly the yellow. Surely won't roll the black in. A very, very tough Long shot. Pops on, and he's going for it. In the pink to the corner, and it's not there, so. We get another so chance close. in this frame. He needed some luck there, and he didn't get it. And this time, I actually Johnny fancy me chances. Set. So, even though we've played absolutely terribly in this frame, he's looking to pop about this to get the right corner. A whole lot more Tremendous interesting. Shot. One. So. That's okay. Nicely played onto a red. Seven. Oh, surely we haven't snooted ourselves. Eight. Oh, well, snooted ourselves on the black. Okay, on the blue, though, but it's a little bit more tricky than usual. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. But it's a great shot. shot. 13. Right. So. Good shot. 14. Played that nicely. So that brown is going to be 21. The big ball here. You feel? Just ran through. I did think here. about stunning it. Twenty-nine. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. Beautiful. Thirty. Played that okay, but I think we'll play the blue here. A long pot's on, and he's going for it. Blue's there. Oh, what a shot that is. Yeah, played it well. 35. And then we had a, a yellow like this in the, the last round and put it on the far jaw. Let's not overcompensate and put Only it on the, the near jaw remain. this time. 
in the air, good shot. So, scores on the doors. We are now five points in front. The screen. This really is tricky. Loose oh, shot. Wow, it's not gone right. <sighs> Can't believe that. So, frame not over just yet. Just gonna stick this brown forward a bit. Might play the double, and if he gets the double, he'll be deserved of the frame. We just need the brown and the blue here, so you know I think we're we're in a good place. Highest break of the tournament so far for us with that forty break. Be interesting to see what he does here. Is he gonna? Hit thin off it, nice. Oh, he's tried for the snooker. Oh, he's played it really well. He's played it really well. Okay. He's not got it perfect, but it's good enough. It's a, a decent safety shot at this stage. I think if, if I was him, I'd be tempted to take this brown on. But uh, it's not easy. And he knows if he misses it, he probably loses the frame. So it's all, you know, whether risk and reward here. I think if this cue ball was tight on the cushion, he wouldn't fancy it. And well, he doesn't fancy it. It's just playing the, the safety shot. Again, I don't blame him there. But, uh, I'm quite happy He's to... He's looking for the snooker behind the blue here. Just play this uh, safety battle. A couple of more percent on that. I think if we got that in the sweet spot, we would have had that behind the pink. But uh, he might try and took us behind the black here. It's kind of fraught with danger, though. Oh, he's knocked the he's black in. Really well, and I think he's going to have left a free ball here. Well, wow. Mark he has done. Seven. Free ball. Well, but let's certainly see what he chooses to do here. Letting them play on from here. We're 15 points in no front. real advantage. And he's asked his opponent to play from here. Well, yeah, I didn't really think about if he can hit this thin. If he can hit it thin, then it might have been the wrong decision. But uh, even so, he doesn't want to play this with too much pace. Playing it with swerve, he's hit it well. He has left us a chance here, and it is frame ball. He's navigated his way out of the snooker, but he hasn't left the cue ball safe. This is far from straightforward. Fact. I'm not going to take it at all, which is unlike me, I know, but I want to wait for a better chance here. Quarter final of the Virtual World Championship. Got a good lead here, let's not throw it away. I think if the blue no, or pink was awkward, I, was I would have potentially felt a bit better. 
Um, but we, you know, have no real security. So we played the swerve shot really well. I and mean, if he'd hit it slightly harder, he'd have left the brown on. But played it pretty much to perfection. And he's played this incredibly well as well. That's a cracking shot from Manitude. Okay, we can hit this. But it's not easy. He's looking for the snooker behind the black, I think. But we've hit it absolutely perfectly. Now, where's the cue ball going? I think it's okay. It certainly is okay. This isn't easy. That very well. He doesn't want to lose the white here. He could leave an opportunity. I played that again. Stunning. Great shot. Brilliantly played. So, again. I think he's going behind the, the pink. behind the pink ball. This looks good. This looks very good. Great shot. And this time, we've got him in big trouble. But what a fantastic safety battle this has been. It's not only hitting this brown, it's getting it safe. Because we only need that brown to win the frame. I think he'll play the swerve again. Uh, just to be sure. He needs good control over the pace nice. of the white with this oh, shot. Oh, this, this looks... This looks slow, and it's coming down this side. Yeah. So that's a pretty poor attempt. Foul and a miss. Mark this Allen. Brown. He looks to be playing on here. To win the frame. No heroics. Brown required here. Just drop it in. And there it is. So we've won the first frame of this quarterfinal. Oh. I don't know how. But we have won it. We have won it. Just roll this blue in. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. And yeah, it was Quality that, there. that snooker on the pink that made the difference in the end. You know, it was a really cracking safety battle to finish off this frame. I won that. I think well, has been one of the better frames of the tournament so far. Really has been. Let's go for a double. Let's play some uh, Captain Goodspeed Stuga. Not quite, but there you go. We win the first frame and we lead this quarterfinal match by one frame to nil. Mark Allen, fifteen. Okay, here we go with frame two, and somehow we won that first frame. I have no idea how, but uh, some good safety play towards the end. So here goes Mattitude now with his break-off shot. We obviously missed it on the way down the last frame. Cannot believe we, we did that, but uh, just shows uh, what the nerves can do. I'm feeling a little more relaxed, a bit more adrenaline than anything else, but uh, happy that we've got two bites of the cherry, considering we were... 40 odd points behind again in that frame uh, but we put in a nice 40 break to uh, you know get right back into the frame and a, a couple of fouls from um, Mattitude towards the end there uh, sort of helped us out so good little safety shot there Quite happy with this. This could be behind the brown. Not quite. There's a, a loose red at the bottom of the cluster if he fancies a shot to nothing. But, uh, yeah, 
nervous to say the least, you know. Um, chance to get through to the semi-final. It's uh, it's a big, big frame this one. Uh, you know, all I want really is a chance, as you see in the last match. I will go for chances to to win matches. And, well, he's left the the possible shot to nothing. I'm a little bit tempted, I have to admit. We'll have a little look at it. I feel like there is a little bit of value in this. He's taking it on. Let's go for it. Now nah, we've completely messed this up. He's missed it. Got the power bar all wrong there. That was just a little flash of uh, the arm there. <sighs> Never mind. So Maddy gets first chance of this frame. Just completely messed that up with a power bar. Once again. It's uh, very frustrating. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Oh, where's the cue ball going? Oh, well, he's very fortunate One. there. He'll do well to get on to the next red here, though. Really well. Uh, possibly the yellow. Lots of screw back. Uh, he's not going to get there from the blue. So... A little bit fortunate. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. Yeah, played the yellow with loads of screw, but kissed the, the blue that on the way really through. At all. That's end of break, so yeah. our big mistake only cost us six, three points, sorry. Uh, so I'm absolutely thrilled about that. Now, I think Maddie's quite a, quite a good uh, safety player. He's got a good snooker and brain. He's uh, very good with our power bar. That me and Chinny have been talking so much about. Now well, then. John Higgins, three. Just play this nice and thin. No heroics. What's this safety shot? It's a bit pacey, but it's going to hit the yellow. That yellow's become a nice little target as a snooker and ball. Uh, I knew I'd hit that a bit hard, but um, yeah, I didn't fancy the thought of possibly under-hitting it and making another mess of it, so I'm quite happy with that. So be interesting to see what shot Maddie plays here. The reason I didn't go down the right-hand side... Didn't think he was, but there you go. It's a decent target behind that yellow. He hasn't managed it this time. Once again, he's, he's missed left the a ball. little red poking its head out. Just do quite fancy these. Well, this is a half chance. Didn't go in, but look where the cue ball is. Always worth having a go at them. Got him in a bit of trouble now. The reason I didn't go down the right-hand side of the table, I was saying, is, is because of that black and blue. If you hit one of them on the way back, it's uh, not going to be great. But yeah, he's going to have to play some sort of high tariff shot here, we've got, we've got him in a, a decent bit of trouble. That's one possible shot, I think maybe from this angle down the right hand side of the table, two cushions, uh, but no, he's, he's trying to do it this way and that was always a problem for me, trying to go that way. Now, what's he left? I'm not certain he's left anything. So we can get to enough of this red, Ooh, which we can. So big shot coming up here. 
massive shop. Yeah, I was gonna play it with play this with a lot of power. Side for a second there. Outstanding pop. We've knocked it in. Does the black go? I don't think it does. One. So. Maybe it can just pass, but I don't really fancy it. So pink it is. No more than half a chance here. Yep, good shot. Oh, wonderful shot. Excellent positional play there. Inch perfect. Seven. Just got to be slightly careful of the in off here. Played it well. So, a chance to get some points on the board here. Let's have a little look at that red. That red doesn't, doesn't really go. So, I'm going to come down the table. I'm going to have a little look. Check this out. So, I'm hoping to get onto that red. Do any of the other reds pass into this left corner? No, so it's kind of. So, this pot into the right corner. All or nothing. Made it well, though. Wonderful pot. Happy with that. 13. So, it's going to be. Slightly carefully, I think we're just going to accept that we're going to cannon into this pink. Just make sure the red here. Yeah, 14. we're always going to have the blue as our saviour. Now, does that red pass the black? I think it does. So, it's a, it's a decent chance this, if we can pull off this. One good pot. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. It's a great pot. Nineteen. Once again, this isn't straightforward. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. But it's gone in. How's our luck? That's an unforced error. Not good. 20. Not good. Wow, well, you can't believe that we're not on anything there. I can't believe that. Now, I'm thinking about just trying to drop this near the yellow. Too bad a shot. Uh, yeah, I mean, just a little bit unfortunate there, really. Well, sometimes Quite. playing this slowly can upset your flow. Maybe he just oh, needs to get, up, Neil. get his rhythm back. <laughs> Didn't need that from Neil there. Oh no, that's nowhere near. That's nowhere near. Well, he's given away the foul. Foul and a miss. Might Half put us back here. Wait. I don't, I don't know. Higgins. Four. Well, he's playing on here. No, he's playing on. Reds are all over the place. So, good chance here for Matitude, but can't help but feel we were 
robbed there with that that last shot. Not too well to get well, on to the colour here. Half a chance. Brilliant pot. Mm, cleared that well. They don't come much better than that. One. So a much better chance than he had in the first frame. These reds are very nice and black and pink are potable, but uh, not on their spots. So, yeah, a, de a decent chance here. No more than half a chance here. What a top pot that was. Yeah, played that well. He'll, he'll do nicely to get rid of that red near the black and open that up into the right corner pocket. It's probably what I'd do here. I've got a feeling he'll play the red on the left-hand side just because it's more certain positional-wise. Uh, Exactly what he did. But he's not ideal here. Want to be the other side of the blue. Might even play the green with a bit of stone. Now, I'd personally be playing blue lots of top and left hand side and, and trying to power through. Now, can he drop uh, the ball into the right corner? Into the green and great shot. Stunned over. Nine. So good shot. I think this red passed the black. You can get to and, and pop this and maybe hold the white where the red is and play for the black into the left middle. So it might have worked out okay actually. So this pop into the right corner. Oh, but that's, that's an excellent pop. Gone slightly wrong. Okay. So then he fancies this black into the far corner and they're not easy not easy at all this is a half chance he has played it he's played it really well good shot 17 just concentrated on the on the pot there not so much on the position probably wise but uh, he's got a little problem here because that black doesn't go to the right corner pocket so Positional wise, just a little bit to think about here. He's got to be careful of the in off into the left middle. And he's just dropped it in. Oh, and he's missed and it, he's missed so we've got Higgins. ourselves a, another chance here. And that black definitely doesn't go. Just making sure. No real problem here. Need. Right about that, we nearly missed the power bar. That was a, the cue ball a really it. terrible shot. That was just one, a flick of tension. It really was. I went dead straight on the on the brown. So I think just the the roll up here. Sorry, Maddie. But yeah, just the roll up. Very well. Mark Allen, one. Yeah, I can't believe we hit that so hard. We just, it was just a flick of tension. I think if we'd uh, hit the sweet spot there, we'd have, we'd have been fine. But yeah, this is this is not easy to get out of and and not leave a, a red. He's he's almost bound to leave one. I'd be maybe trying to get into the the cluster of four. I think that's probably your best chance of. Of not leaving one on here. You won't want to overhit this. Yep. Successfully gets out the snooker, but he's left an opportunity here. Yeah, I'm a fan of that shot to be honest. I think, you know, he played that about the best he could. Um, this isn't easy. Miss these quite a lot in the career board. Um, we've over One. hit the positional shot, just can't get this cue ball under control. Uh, 
got the yellow one a bit closer to the corner pocket than it normally would be. So it's not not too bad. Not an easy one, but a half chance. I don't think we're on anything. So again. Three. Not the best from us. It's a possible shot coming up. cut here. This is uh, not easy at all. But we're running up the table. Let's give this a go. And he's missed that! Well, hit the wrong red. Hit the wrong red. Mark Allen, three. Missed the sweet spot completely. <sighs> that was a silly shot to take on. Should have stopped myself from that. Kind of got away with it here. It's not, not easy, any shot he goes for. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Played that beautifully, though. That was not an easy wonderful, shot. Wonderful pot. I think he'll fancy the job from here. And pot these four reds, pot four colours, and we're into a decider. Probably see a lot about how he's feeling here, whether he plays the yellow or green. I feel like playing the yellow shows he's a little tentative. Three. It was the easier shot. I think green might have opened up more avenues for him. But again, he's he's got to be careful here because this black doesn't go into the right corner pocket. So he might just play this absolutely this dead weight. Played it a bit pacey for me there. It's got the blue. Four. Which is not bad. But it's one that you have to hit well. <sighs> so why not this blue he's in? An expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Played that really nicely. Tremendous spot. Nine. Once again, doing very, very well under pressure here, Maddie. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. Haven't had a fantastic a chance in this was. frame right just yet. Team. Ten. You might want to play for that red to the right corner after this. Again, just got to be a bit careful. So he's ten points in front, this to go 16. Uh, I don't think he's 16. all screwed there, I think he's okay. So 16 in front, two reds, two blacks would be enough to win the frame. Two reds, two pinks would be enough. He basically needs 12 points from the next four shots. Mm. 17. It's not ideal here. Might play the blue. No, just taking the seven points. That's a missable red, this so would have wanted. Missable 24. red. Twenty-four the lead, thirty-five on the table, red and colour required. Tough shot coming up. Nicely done. Really impressive queuing. Yeah, great shot, but will he twenty five play the risky brown? So 
round for the frame. All blue. My player the blue. So, just this blue required. Oh, what a shot. He might have stuggered himself, though. And that so he needs to hit this. Gives him the match. No real route back in for his opponent. Fifth. 30 points in front. Needs to hit this yellow. The risk here is where does the cue ball end up? Yeah, played it beautifully. So, barring a snooker, we're going into a decider here. John Higgins, 30. It's not the best shot in the world. Tricky shot here. Missed that. So. That's not bad. So for that. Played that really nicely. He knows his stuff. Does my well, attitude. He's managed to snooker. Let's see what happens here. Well, I think he's trying to swerve this. That's a really good escape. That's not too bad. Take the pot on here. And he's having a go at the yellow. No. If this yellow bounces, it could be good. Oh, it's at the green well. Ideal. I'm not far away from getting the snookers though, so you know the colours are pretty good as it stands, so I'd quite fancy the clearance if we were offered it. Has That's a pretty poor attempt, really. No, don't snooker yourself, Joe. Two. Just about okay. So, let's try and stun this behind the, the brown here. some help. Need some help. We've misjudged this. Yeah. Mark Allen, two. I don't know where the greens go. Well, it's not too bad. Could be in a bit of trouble again, but yeah, still only the one snooker required. At any moment he could go in off. the power bar. Never know with this game. This is a half decent chance. That's a poor shot really. Oh, it just 
just hasn't got the legs. It's not a bad line, but didn't have the legs. Went for the snooker, and it hasn't really worked out. Snooker this time. That's an excellent shot and a challenging snooker. He'll be trying to reduce any risk with this shot. Yeah, that's gone wrong. So we'll concede the frame there and uh, we're going into a decider in this quarter final match. Right then, here we go for the deciding frame. Of this match I think you know both of us have played a nervy game I don't really know how we ended up winning the first frame we got a bit unlucky in that last frame and once again not a good break off a little bit fortunate that we've got away with it so this deciding frame to get through to the semi-final of the uh, virtual world championship I think got our work, work cut out here um, Maddy is a real top player he's played some really really good safety in this match and you know I did say it uh, be before the tournament began I think whoever's well, he's got taking it on. The best safety game could well go on. No, not this the time. Whole thing. Close, but a miss nonetheless. And that miss gives Maddie a chance. Played it as a shot for nothing, but the Reds come back out, and if he gets a good angle here, he could split the Reds, give himself a chance get through. He's going for it. But he's not really got nice the angle. There. One. He could play it with a lot of top. But it's always more difficult going into the pack with top spin rather than back spin. He may even elect to play the blue and, and, and play the red along the side cushion. There he is going for it but not into the pack he's leaving himself this tricky Eight. little red up the cushion they're not as bad as it would be in real life obviously you would probably never ever go for this shot in real life but um, in this game they're not too bad just drop them in absolutely dead weight let gravity do the work Looking at that potential plant in the in the pack, and maybe you wouldn't want to no go into them off the blue. He's played a nice red, oh, though. Shot that He's is. got the angle on the blue if he Super wants, but control there. I'd love to position. see an angle on those two reds, just just to the right of the cluster. I think if you go into this pack, they're going to go very close to this right corner pocket. He'll play this with plenty of power. He's playing the pink. That's a really good split. He's and this played that. Is a real opportunity. Brilliantly. He's a little unlucky. 15. If anything. Here's a red to the right corner. But it's not easy. safe again I, I don't blame them I really don't what a, what a chance to win the match though 15. Now, as I've said in this tournament I think if you get a chance to, to win the match you should 
probably go for it. This might be one of those times. This is a tough shot. He's looking at this red. What a point. But it's gone in. Amazingly enough, we managed to get the shot to nothing. I don't really fancy any of the colours here. So it is just going to be the, the roll up. So, again, sorry, Maddie, if you're watching. To get the cue ball behind the brown here. But uh, just got to do what we've, we've got to do at this Mark point. One. I'd fancy him to hit this and get it safe. I don't think it's that difficult to get out of, but any slight misjudgment, and he could leave us on here, so it's got to be a bit careful. That was a cracking long red from us. I, I mean, I was playing to bust the reds open. I don't know how we found the gap that we did. But uh, we certainly did. He won't want to underhit this shot. Oh. No, not the result he was looking for. Again, he's left a, a tricky red that, that I'm not interested in at all here. Be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I don't actually know if we hit that. I sincerely hope we did, because otherwise it's a free ball. We did. Whew. <laughs> but uh, good safety. He's got to pull out a decent one here. But it's anyone's game this, you know, we've got just as much chance as Latitude. Where's that cue ball going? It's a little close to the corner pocket, but it's fine. Great shot. That's a really good safety. He's playing the safety and aiming to get the cue ball tight against the cushion. <laughs> Missed the power bar. Now how co costly is that going to be? It could be a match loser. Well, Damn it. Not the best safety there. I'd always much rather miss that than hit it thick. And that's the, the penalty that you pay on Master Plus when you do not hit a safety shot well and and our safety in this match has been absolutely shocking. Really has been Position thoroughly ashamed by it. One. Uh, to be honest. But uh, he'll do well to get onto a, a red here. Really isn't easy. So I don't think it's quite curtains yet, but he's played this with a lot of pace. Oh, he might not be on anything here. Six. It's super unlucky. I don't think he'll... Oh no, this red goes well. I did not know that red went. Well, that could be... Seven. A great shot for for Maddie Maditude. I did not know that red went. I thought it was too tight, but uh, this is now a great chance to win the match. And He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Oh, it's... Eleven. A very edgy shot there. I'd fancy him to knock this long red in. Or the middle pocket red. 
the witch red he fancies. This is a half chance. Cleared it, it wobbled. He'll be happy with it's that. Gone in. Top shot. That'll make him feel a lot well. better. I fancy him to, to go on and do it here. And, uh, you know, I'll be a well deserved winner, I think. We've not really played well at all in this match. And I'm just so disappointed that, you know, after all the practice, this is the best we could come up with. But uh, this might have gone wrong here. And it has. So maybe it's not curtains just yet. It's 29 points in front. I think you've just got to flick off this red and play behind the yellow here. If you're mad at you, you, you're very good at this type of shot. But he may well go for the pot. All depends what he fancies, what he sees. Just playing the contain and safety. John Higgins, 15. It's probably not a bad decision. I'm more than thrilled to be back at this snooker table. More than thrilled. So 29 points in it, still plenty of reds on the table. There are some awkward reds, so it's a really handy lead to have for for Maditude. But again, we have been behind this much in the competition so far. We have come back from the brink. It's a real top safety shot. Played that beautifully. Now that red into the middle is a little bit dodgy. So having a little look at the reds into the left corner pocket, there isn't really one, so I'm going to have to just play up to this red here. You know, gives Maditude the advantage, but all I'm looking to do here really is is n not let him pot anything. And, you know, unless he fancies taking that incredible risk of, of a plant, he's uh, not got one. So, you know, I, I see the value in that shot. Well, this is building up to be a really interesting test of their safety just, skills. Knocks it back down the table, so it's a more conventional safety battle now, which uh, you know you have to say at this stage favours Maditude because we just have not been at the races with our safety play to date. That's a decent safety shot at a at a good time. Cannot afford another loose safety shot in this match. So Maditude will probably play a similar sort of shot here. But, you know, Maditude likes to be a little bit more expansive with his safety play. 
doesn't bother this time. Again, can't say, can't say I blame him. He's played a, a lovely shot. The cue ball is finished up in a very safe position. This is not easy. Once again, we hit it well. So it's a good safety battle so far. But I think this will be the last shot of that type that you see, because I think Maritude's going to manage to put a lot of pressure on us here. He certainly does. What a shot. Great shot. Maritude. safety from Maddie here. She's put so much pressure on us. But once again we managed to play a decent shot. very close to the first mistake in this safety battle so once again got such a tough shot here pace is critical here once again we're on the money with the power bar and now We've put pressure on Maditude, so finally safety. we've swung the, the tide in this safety battle. It's going to be very difficult to get back to the bulk here. Without hitting this too thick. So nervous. <laughs> yep, hit that a bit thicker. And it's gone a bit wrong. So, this is exactly what I wanted. Just one chance in this deciding frame. So, this pops into the right corner. Beautifully done. That's not one. the best shot, though. Really is not the best shot. Our positional play has been shocking today. Really has. Tricky shot here. That's a good blue under pressure. Six. such a sh tough shot in real life and in the game it's not the shot the one Tricky in the decider that's a top shot but it's right in the heart of the pocket Whew. seven now we're just about hanging on here actually I'm going to play a little bit of a cannon here. Just bring stuff into play. Long pot, right up his street. Great queuing there. That's okay. Twelve. I mean, the, the attackman shot here is to play that red. Just keep building the points. If 
if that paint goes, might be 13. the time. It certainly does. So I'm looking at these reds. I want to get rid of that middle red. Uh, you know, we were looking at it. He's going for the left in corner the middle pocket. That's a beauty. It's okay. 19. Now it's whether we trust to look here. I don't think we do. Twenty. Just a little far. Should be fine. Just gotta trust to look a little bit Perfect here. Pace required for this shot. Good split. It. That's really opened the table up here. Twenty six. We haven't had it. This is a horrible shot. Big shot. We've got it. Didn't play it confidently. Now oh, have we got a shot on the black? Twenty seven. No. But uh yeah again I think this the little roll up here is the shot. Yep. We played Nicely it well. Done. Mark Allen. This is a tough escape. So we're back in the frame here, two points behind. Four reds left on the table. <sighs> that cannon on the pink. He'll want fine control over the pace of this shot. That's worked out better. We might have been okay, that cue ball's going in. It's going to be a. Well, no, well it's not it was a, a really hard shot, and it hasn't worked out for him at all. So two Foul points the miss. the lead. Mark Allen, four. And unsurprisingly, he's asked his opponent to play again. It's going to be so tough to get out of this and not leave a pot. Pace is key here. That might be a terrific shot and it is. He's avoided the foul but I think this is a half chance. Now then. Big shot to go for. This is what I've been playing the game 12 months for. This shot right here. He's taking it on. This is not easy. Doesn't look there for me. That's a brilliant. Oh, it is though. It's wobbled in. That's great cue ball control. Well, excellent position. One. Can you believe it? Got a chance here. So this pot into the right corner. No issues there. Simply wonderful. Seven. So. Cannon. Did not want that cannon. Eight. <sighs> now then. It's either a really tricky shot on the blue. Or it's pink. Twice across the table. Or the safety from here. It's gonna be the blue. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Such a tough shot. It's there, Simply though. Wonderful. Fully committed. 13. So, scores on the doors. We're 15 points in front. With 43 on the table. We need red. Two reds, two colours. 
be a chance to get rid of that red here. Didn't take it. I don't know what I played there. That was uh, 14. a bit of a, a silly shot. So... Gotta drop this in. Don't the think there's a danger if they're not here. For it. The cue ball came down, but that's loose. He wanted more control there. He needed more. 19. So, 21 points the lead. We've hit that as well as we could have. Twenty-one points to lead. Red and even pink would be enough to win this frame and match and go through to the semi-final. We feel like we will get at least one shot at glory. This is a tricky shot. He's hit that so well. Oh, and what a flick! What a time to get such a lovely flick. That's an flick. excellent shot. This is, again, not, not a nice shot to have to play here. I mean, I may just try and rest on this. I don't think there's a, a lot of chance of leaving this. So, yeah. Brilliant That's okay. Played. The red's just in such a good position there to get snookers from. That's uh, the only worry I've got here. Well, he's going to snooker us. It's not the only worry I have, but it's my current worry. Um, he's, this cue ball's close. This cue ball's very close. It's a in. Really costly foul. Foul. Mark Allen, four. Let's see what he decides to do. Twenty-five after that now. in front now. Well, he's playing on here. But yeah, I think if we can get this right, this could be a real good shot. Ross. Just missed it. That's the pressure. Arr, I'm annoyed about that. He'll be really, really annoyed. annoyed. Lack of composure, perhaps. It was lack Probably of composure. Missed. We just weren't ready for that shot. Four. He's going to play on here. He's playing on. Thinks he can play a better safety here. This is developing into a fascinating safety battle. He's super good on that power bar, is Maddie. He really is a top player. Once again, I think I don't think we can see the other side of it, and I'm not comfortable playing it like that because we can get too close to that pink and that really would be a disaster so just going to drop this onto the red I don't think that's going to reach but it's only going to cost us four points so he'll be really annoyed with that foul lack of composure perhaps <laughs> it could be crucial but foul and a miss John Higgins four yeah. Probably will be crucial because it means we need the yellow right now. On from this position. So we're bottling it a bit here. He's going to play the thin safety again. This is just going to be a bit, 
bit pacey. I think we just about get to this. Again, it's a really tough shot to pull off. But finally, we rediscover our form, and what a time to find it. I think we snooted him here, so... That's what he was after. Nicely played. So 17 behind is Maddie. You know, I'm really, really, really super impressed with how good he is at these thin safety shots. Uh, he can hit that power bar. I mean, he has not missed it once in this match. Uh, from that, we can remember. Um, but this isn't easy to hit and get safe. We've played one good safety shot in this safety battle and got him in all sorts of trouble. But that's why I wasn't too bothered about losing the points. You know, because I knew if we could get one right, we could put him in big trouble. And, and that's hopefully what's happened here. The black's kind of in the way of the one cushion escape now. So he really needs to be mindful of pace. He's swerving it. Doesn't want to overhit this. Has he got away with this? Has he got away with this? I think he has. That is very jammy. There. I cannot believe he has got away with that. That could well be a match winning slice of luck. It really could be. Just try and, try and drop on this. He doesn't want to play this with too much pace, or he could leave his opponent on. No, that's not enough. So put us back here, but right line. Not the best shot, although it was a very testing position he found himself in. Foul and a miss. John Higgins, four. Straight back. <laughs> no doubt about that. He'll be aware how important pace is for this shot. No, that's nowhere near again. That's not a good result. It was a very tough shot, though. This frame is tightening up. John Higgins, four. Well, he's asked for his opponent to play again. Just so tentative. I just can't believe he got away with that. I'm actually a little bit salty. looking at the lowest risk escape here. He's played that very well. Got it right this time. But yeah, now we're, it's a totally different frame. We were red and pink away from winning, but we need up to the brown at this point. Interested to see what shot he plays here. like a double but uh, I don't think now's the time for one of them just playing the percentage shots here because I know if he plays away it's going to be very tough to cover this red Playing a really, really intelligent game here. It's uh, super impressive. We're playing a similar shot. He might, he might be tempted by the thin safety, and I, I, I don't know. 
He knows he's uh, he's he's got us in his pocket with with safety play. He knows that we cannot match his safety safety game. The safety battle continues. And that's another fantastic shot from Maddie. Well, he's got it. Great shot. balls are that could be a match winner really could be it'd be super hard to to get this I'm actually tempted to play the swerve and, and risk where the red goes Sort of an all or nothing shot, that's the only issue. He's playing the swerve. Let's go for it. It's gone wrong. Well, he's left half a chance. So that could be our last shot. Maybe if the red hadn't hit the blue, we, we might have had more of a chance, but... <sighs> He's tempted by this red. It's a great pot. What a fabulous pot that is. The what? only thing I'll say is that where that blue's gone, can't harm our chances, but I, I do think that's it now. I think we've messed our chances up and... It's very disappointing. Looking to pop this brown. That's a top shot. Well. well played. Five. So I've got to get onto this green. This looks relatively straightforward. End of the bottom pocket. Sensible shot. Very tricky shot coming up. What a magnificent played that so well. What a shot. Well, so well played, Maddie. I think. I think we've played our last shot. Yeah. I'm gutted. I'm not gonna lie. But a bit casual there. He'll be annoyed with that. Fourteen. We'll take this into the corner. He just needs blue and pink. I'm good. <laughs> Completely good. Lots of pressure on this shot. What a shot. Well played, Matty. He's through what the next shot. round. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hugely disappointed, but happy for Matty that he's, he's got through. He's a fantastic safety player. and he um, just needs this pink. Yeah, that pink makes sure. So well played, Matty. Oh... Well, it's been an honour to be invited to the Betfred Virtual World Championship and, and we have had our chances no to win this match. But 
Murray has played sublime. Well played to him, and good luck to him in the semi-final. And match, John Higgins. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, there we have it, folks. The dream is over. We are out of the Virtual World Championship 2020. And, uh, yeah, I've had a few days now to soak it in. Uh, and, you know, I'm still gutted. And, and, and some of the shots at the end there do hurt a bit. Um, you know, what could have been if uh, after that swerve onto the, the red, if he'd just left it on? We, we might have been sat, sitting here right now as a semi-finalist down the last four and, uh, you know, every chance of, of maybe going on. But uh, I'm just overwhelmingly proud of, of how I've done in this tournament, you know, flying the flag for the creators, the, the non-hardcore folk, if you like, um, and getting through to the quarterfinals anyway and getting that close to the semis. We were 22 up with a 35 on or something silly like that and uh you know getting that close is uh, crazy it's very similar to um the the 2002 semi-final with matthew stevens and peter ebden it was on the the tv uh, yesterday actually and uh and uh watching that <laughs> reminded me a lot of the, this match but um no, I'm gutted, but I'm proud of to, to have taken part. So a massive thank you to uh, WST and Ripstone and Lab42 for putting this event on and uh, keep giving us a, a little bit of snooker uh, during this crazy, crazy time. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to be involved in it, to compete in it, to have won a match in it, to have played well, to have won three out of the five frames I've played, uh, to have commentated on all of the matches with Chinny uh, so far, and I will be continuing to do that all the way up to the final uh, f of this competition. So please, you know, check out Chinny's channel. It's on my channel homepage, and if I remember, I'll leave it in the description to this video. But uh, no, it's been a fabulous tournament. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for your support during this tournament. A lot of people have been sending lovely messages lovely good luck messages and saying they've been really enjoying uh, sort of the hype with me in it and a big thanks to Mark Allen as well who has been uh, very supportive on Twitter and, and sending good luck messages and well done messages and, and whatever it's very very kind and uh, I, I really do appreciate it but uh, if this is to be the only ever virtual world championship I got to the quarterfinals I can always have that in my Twitter description for the rest of my life now a quarter finalist at the virtual world championship now that doesn't sound too bad does it so back to career mode for me and uh, that'll be in tomorrow's video uh, where we'll be finishing off the final of the coral tour championship so i hope you guys really have enjoyed this video if you have then make sure you leave a like down below it does help me out it means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for daily snooker 19 content uh, certainly while the world championships are on and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>